I'm Elena Ager, Council of the Conservancy, and my colleague Jessica Wen is with me tonight from the MRCA. And we're here to talk about the status of our efforts in Malibu to provide public access. So we wanted to talk, first the policy of the state is the right for public access and to the public to enjoy um, and access coastal resources, and that's a guarantee that the legislature um, provides to our residents. So I wanted to first talk about our objectives here and to show partnerships that we have in providing public access efforts in Malibu. Um, so you'll note your objectives are there highlighted in red and um, the Mountains Recreation and Conservation Authority, MRCA's objectives are highlighted in red. And I don't need to, everyone knows how to read, so I'm not gonna read that to you. But I wanted to also then, secondly, talk about the objectives of our partners. And you'll see um, the various agency partners that we work with in providing public access to the Malibu Coast. The Coastal Commission, the State Coastal Conservancy, um, our colleague um, at the Department of Park and Recreation at State Parks, um, Caltrans, and our other colleague here tonight um, at the NPS, and the County of Los Angeles. These are the agency partners that we work with. You'll notice that we don't have community partnership slide up. And that's because what we're gonna talk about today is really the construction <coughs> and um, operation and management of the physical access ways themselves. We do work with many community organizations and nonprofit um, organizations to provide programmatic access to the coast. And I want to acknowledge that here, but that's not what we're gonna talk about tonight. I wanted to make mention of that because I don't want to be um, misunderstood here as we go along in our program here. Um, so today, um, we're showing you a partnership map of the public land in the Santa Monica Mountains Conservancy's jurisdiction. And you can see what we've accomplished today in assembling all, all this public land, um, both the, ye the yellow, which is, um, the different partnerships we have and the Conservancy and MRCA's property that's depicted in the green. It's pretty um, extensive and impressive. Um, so, the, so today we're going to focus on our partnerships in, in the respect of coastal public so we're going to move down along the coast, but we want to draw your attention to all the interconnectedness of our public access programs in the region. So we have trails and we have open space, we have parks, we have lower cost accommodations that are the interlinkedness to the different programmatic areas. Um, and you can see from this map, our goal really is to link um, many types of, of public um, use experiences, hiking, viewing, picnicking, uh, beach walking, et cetera. And fortunately, the amazing ge geography of the region, really um, where the Santa Monica Mountains majestically stand on that panoramic backdrop there, and to the scenic Malibu beaches, it's, it's pretty phenomenal. Um, and it allows us to show the, the linkages um, pretty, pretty easily. So, for example, in one afternoon, the public can both hike in the mountains and go to the beach. That's incredible. Um, or it could bike, someone could bike, hike, walk to the beach for sunset, and then in our new program at Ramirez Canyon, camp under the, star, in, under the stars in the back of the canyon. That's pretty phenomenal. So it's our mission then to provide the diverse range of outdoor experiences for all Californians, our visitors, and especially for the 18.7 million people in the 
LA metropolitan area. And that's a 2015 estimate, so three years ago. And many of whom don't live on the coast. This is one very important um, reason for coastal public access. Now we want to continue to set the context of how we, with our partners, work to create um, coastal public access opportunities in Malibu. As you can see, Malibu boasts the longest coastline of any municipality in California, 21 miles from the edge of El Matador State Beach to down coast to Topanga State Park. Its scenic beauty makes it a popular destination for outdoor recreational activities. Yet residential and commercial development line the coast, making it a challenge for the public to find unobstructed scenic views, public parking, public access to trails and parklands, and public access to Malibu beaches. So we worked together to achieve the Coastal Commission's policy to provide for coastal public access every 1,000 feet or approximately every one-fifth mile. We do not yet meet that objective here in Malibu, and we're working diligently to get closer to our goal. We now want to point out where we are in pursuing our objectives to offer <coughs> coastal public access approximately every one-fifth mile along this 21-mile coastline. State parks, LA County beaches and harbors, and the MRCA operate and manage the various coastal public access ways in Malibu. Tonight, um, in the dark, in lieu of a site visit to Malibu, <laughs> we'll take you on a virtual tour of the MRCA and Conservancy's 16 property interests along the Malibu coast. Located by beach, as you see on the slide, going up coast from LA, starting at the Malibu city line at Topanga State Park, or State Beach, and by um, current status of the beach coastal access way meaning open or unopened. As you can see here, there are six fully, and fully open and improved coastal public access ways that the MRCA and Conservancy own and manage. There are eight other sites in the planning and design stages of, the, of a public works plan for coastal access, which we'll go into more detail later. And then three on your right, um, additional sites of the MRCA and Conservancy are planning for as well. This is a map of the existing access ways that will explain that MRCA owns and manages and operates and um, they are um, Carbon Beach East, Carbon Beach West, Malibu Road East, Latigo Beach, Escondido Beach, and the Chusa Beach. This is Carbon Beach East. You all may know this coastal access site as the Geffen Access Way. This access way was a result of a settlement between David Geffen and the Coastal Commission to provide public access at Carbon Beach. And for a long while, the site remained the only coastal access way in, in, to Carbon Beach. See how beautiful. And now well, we're going now to Carbon Beach West. Here we go. Um, some of you may know this access way as the Ackerberg access way. The property owner and the Coastal Commission reached a settlement agreement in 2013 that required the property owner to develop this access way. And the construction was finished in spring of 2015. This is Malibu Road East, and now you get to see the beautiful view from there. And it's well signed, MRCA signs and the Conservancy signs are there. Um, Malibu Road East is a fee simple, not an easement, um, site that was transferred from the Coastal Conservancy to the MRCA, and the MRCA developed the site and opened it in 2016. 
This is Latigo Beach, and, that, and Latigo Beach was an access way that was a result of a 1980s coastal development permit condition for the development of the townhomes that you see on the right. Um, and in 2007, MRCA took ownership of this access way. Escondido Beach is another access way that resulted from a 1980s coastal development permit condition for residential development of condominiums. And let's see, um, the condos were shown um, when we drove by in our last slide. But the developer was required, importantly, here we go, these are the condos, and see the two parking spaces in front. So <laughs> this one has two parking spaces along with beach access. I'm sorry I blinked. <laughs> there were two. There were, definitely two. The next beach, I'm going quickly through the existing ones to get through our presentation tonight because I realize it's getting pretty late. Um, the Lachusa Beach site is another one that the MRCA owns and operates and manages for public access at this point. Um, Lachusa Beach is currently open and in the planning stage for public uh, access improvements that will provide inclusive access for members of the public with a range of abilities. So the improvements include ADA compliant parking spaces and a loading zone, ADA compliant restroom and ramp, coastal a coastal viewing platform and public stairway improvements. Three different access points to this beach. We're showing you each one of them. Now we will show you the MRCA, well, here's the last Lachusa Beach entrance. The gate with the sign on it. And now, oh, and Lachusa Beach, beautiful looking east there. So now we're gonna show you um, the MRCA Conservancy owned public access ways that are all but one unopened and unimproved. We want to pause here to again give some context to you about these eight sites and describe our planning process for opening and improving them for public access. The eight sites are part of our public works plan or PWP planning process that is funded in part by the Coastal Conservancy. And Public Works, under the Coastal Act, includes all publicly financed recreational facilities that impact, have impact on regional or statewide use of the coast. So this PWP includes several Public Works projects to provide coastal access, eight of them in particular. And under the Coastal Act, the Coastal Commission retains the authority to review and certify a public works plan. Seven of these eight properties, and the one exception is MRC's fee property at Las Tunas Beach, were dedicated for public access to satisfy a coastal development permit condition. That is, the property interest for public access was dedicated so that the permit for the private development could satisfy the requirements of the Coastal Act. Six of our eight PWP sites, excepting the two feet properties, like Las Tunas Beach that I just mentioned, and Carbon La Costa Beach, two fee interests, are either public access easements or deed restrictions for public access. That, again, we're dedicated um, in, for a coastal development permit, or um, came from a, uh, not or, and came um, from that permit process in the late 70s or 80s. In all but one of the six PWP sites contains serious encroachments by the private property owner into our public access easement areas. So why almost 40 years later do we have a situation in Malibu where the private development took place but the public access to these six sites remains 
unopened, or unimproved. Essentially, the vast majority of these PWP sites remain unopened and unimproved for public access for four decades because of their really colorful histories of litigation and landowner resistance to public access. These are the most challenging sites statewide along our coast, and these are the ones that remain unopened and, un and, and unimproved. Jessica now um, will show you why these sites are challenging and share some good news too. We're not gonna just talk about bad news tonight. Of our recent successes working with the Coastal Commission enforcement staff, to provide public access at these sites. So, as Elena just described, many of the coastal access sites in the PWP have a long history of coastal act violations and litigation. We can already see examples of that in this first site. This access way is made up of two coastal development permit dedications on both properties on either side of the site for public beach access. The dedications occurred in the 1980s. Fast forward 20 years in 2008, the Coastal Commission obtained a judgment against the property owner to remove his encroachments to provide public access here. 10 more years forward and negotiations between the two property owners and the Coastal Commission are still ongoing. In the meantime, the MRCA and the Coastal Conservancy are pushing forward to design one access way over these two properties in the public works plan. This is the beach side of that access way. The second side is a beachfront property that the MRCA owns in fee. Only one single family residence separates this site from the down coast publicly accessible Las Tunas Beach that's owned and operated by LA County. So this is what it looks like when you drive up to the property. Because we have a nice little love talk here at this property, um, that some of the planning and design that uh, we are proposing here will be to provide some amenities for visitors, such as restrooms and picnic areas, and of course a stairway down to the beach. And you can see the one house that separates uh, the property from the county property. So this access way at 20802 Pacific Coast Highway also has a long history of negotiations between the Coastal Commission and the property owners regarding Coastal Act violations over public access. Public access here was dedicated in the early 1980s and it wasn't until December 2016 that the Coastal Commission issued a cease and lease disorder with, approximate, uh, with approximately $4 million of administrative penalty against the owners. The penalty is still in litigation, but as of October 5th of this month, the owners have finally removed the encroachments within the access way so that we can move forward, forward with final design for this site. Again, we have to say that this access way also has a long history of coastal access violations. However, last year, the owner agreed to remove all of the encroachments within the access way without having the Coastal Commission issue a cease and desist order against them. This next one is a fee simple property made up of two parcels. One parcel was dedicated through a coastal development permit condition that required the applicants to dedicate a view corridor to the State Coastal Conservancy and the other parcel was purchased at fair market value by the Coastal Conservancy. Both the dedication and the acquisition occurred in the early 2000s. The Coastal Conservancy recently transferred jurisdiction of these parcels to the Santa Monica Mountains Conservancy. And you can see how wide the site actually is and the wide beach that it provides. Um, because 
because the feature is uh, nice and wide, uh, in the planning and design stage, we are also proposing a, a boardwalk that extends the entirety, the entire length of the site, and um, to provide amenities such as seating areas and also a restroom here. This access way um, happens to go right through Joffrey's restaurant in the city of Malibu. This access way is currently signed for public access, but further improvements are needed to make the bottom of the bottom portion to um, enhance the access way to better serve the public. You can see where the access way um, crosses the parking lot down uh, to the beach below. Who owns this access? The Mount's, uh, the MRCA holds the easement over this uh, access way. So you can see where it crosses into the outdoor dining area of the restaurant to bring you down to the stairway um, and you can walk across the small road here to get to the access way to get down to the beach. And uh, we are proposing to replace the two inconsistent stairways here. One side is brick and the other side is wood and we're proposing a consistent um, wider stairway that will safely lead people down to the beach. So this next one is located along a generally undeveloped swath of the property. The house on the property is located below on the beach. But due to the steep terrain and presence of a drainage channel, we are looking into the best way to engineer a safe pathway to the beach here. This site is an opportunity for a different coastal public access experience. It's more like a hike to the beach than our other sites here in the city of Malibu offer. Last one in the public works plan um, are two public access dedications made in the late 1970s, one for a vertical access way to the beach and the other for public parking. Both the access and the parking easements have massive property owner encroachments in them and a long history of litigation by both the property owners against the Coastal Commission and the Coastal Conservancy. About a year ago, the Coastal Commission issued a notice of violation and started negotiations with the property owners that are still ongoing. Our understanding is that an encroachment removal plan is finally underway. So here are some photos of that drive-by uh, to indicate where the public parking easement is along uh, the shoulder of the highway you can see the scale of the encroachments that are within the public parking easement, which includes landscaping and also the owner's driveways. So we could just park there. <laughs> That's what you say. <laughs> and um, for the access way that actually leads you down to the beach, again, you can see the scale of the encroachments uh, within the site, which includes, um, again, landscaping, paving, um, very tall hedges. Jessica, can you put the microphone closer to your mouth, please? Yes, sorry about Thank that. Thank you. Um, so again, uh, the scale of the encroachments here at this site, uh, as you can see, includes landscaping, paving, um, a hedge here that actually covers a very thick wall between the residences. And as you get down to the beach, again, um, some more encroachments um, that before you get down to the beach. And this is the beach that you would be able to get to when we improve the site. We have three other unopened access ways that we want to show you tonight, and they are not part of our PWP process, but we are still in the planning stages for these three sites. So,
One is Big Rock East, and, and the second one is Big Rock West, and then Malibu Pier. All of these are in partnership with state parks, and um, we heard as recently as this morning that the documents transferring the Big Rock East and the Big Rock West parcels to the Mountains Conservancy to you um, are in process, so they're being signed, and that's hmm. very good news. Well, the only reason I, I, I yeah. besides the coastal access, because I don't want to deal with the encroachments that are there. <laughs> so. Well, we'll deal with it. Yeah. <laughs> so, we want to show you our public access plans for the Big Rock properties, as well as the last but not least, Malibu Pier, where we work in partnership with LA County and State Parks and the Coastal Commission to fund and construct, operate, and manage two public access stairway improvements at Malibu Pier. So here comes Big Rock East. There's the encroachment that, that Craig's talking about. It kind of looks a little easy compared to the other ones we showed you. <laughs> Pure Simpler one. Yeah. So it's a bluff top as you can see and um, we're now preparing the final, um, we, well, we, uh, we want to show you the aerial photos because you can really see the encroachments from the adjoining neighbor, the rock wall topped with the landscaping. But our goal here is to enforce, of course, the Coastal Act against the unpermitted development, but more importantly, to open the site for public use. Now we're going to Big Rock West, um, where MRCA has obtained a coastal development permit in July of this year for the public access improvements at this site. We're now preparing the final details to our plans and obtaining a few more permitting um, entitlements before moving on to construction, expected to start soon. Expected to start soon excuse me. Funding for this project is from a view shed impact mitigation from a coastal development permit for another residence. So this one is funded. You can see it looks cobbly today in the picture, but often it has a, a bit of sand. And you can see a little bit of that in the left-hand picture. <coughs> and last, Malibu Pier. So long ago, as part of a coastal development permit, the owner of the Malibu Beach Inn was required to build two beach access stairways at Malibu Pier. The Coastal Commission and the owners of the hotel reached an agreement at, in a cease and desist order to design the stairs at the owner's expense and provide additional funding for the construction and maintenance of the new stairways. MRCA is in the process of getting the appropriate approvals from our partners at State Parks and LA County and the stairway site <coughs> is within their jurisdiction. It also includes a, a path, a crosswalk, Crosses to those highway. In addition, we removed some non-native trees adjacent to Malibu Beach Inn and the parking lot, which will be a dedicated walk path for the public. You know, so they don't have to walk to the parking lot. Don't get excited. It doesn't go to MRCA's parking lot. It only is it only is it this rock area, but um, but it'll allow people to get there. Um, and it'll, in addition, next to the pier, there's an additional set of stairs. But we're already there and just going to improve them. So that concludes our public access update and we're happy to answer any questions you might